What's good everyone, SnoopLoop7 here in Call of Duty Ghosts and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can maximize your squad points because if you haven't realized already squad points is what you need to unlock everything in this game. Um, there have been plenty of videos already out about it but in case you missed them or you just wanted some confirmation on it uh, this video is for you. So they're pretty similar to COD points from Black Ops 1 and that you need them to purchase items and each item is going to cost a different amount to buy the difference though is that in Ghost, you don't have to wait to unlock an item at a certain level before buying it, so you can buy whatever you want, whenever you want. So obviously it's a good idea to have as many squad points as possible, and there are three ways to get them. The first is just to level up, so anytime you level up with any of your soldiers, you're going to get two squad points. And that's really the easiest way, you won't have to think about it, it's just going to come naturally from, from playing the game. And the second way is to complete field orders, which are those blue floating briefcases that are occasionally dropped after someone dies. So if you pick one up, you'll be given a task, and if you complete that task before you die like I do in this game, you get one squad point. So the more field orders you complete in a game, the more squad points you can get. Also, they're usually not very difficult to complete, so make sure you pay attention to what it tells you to do. Now the final way to get squad points is to complete your operations and these are basically just challenges that are given to you every 14 days and for each operation you complete you get one squad point and if you complete multiple operations you can get bonus squad points at the end of the 14 days so if you complete two operations you get one bonus squad point at the end of the two weeks all the way up to four bonus points for completing five operations and if you press A on an operation or X on the PS3, uh, you'll notice that each category has 10 operations in it, giving you a total of 50 potential squad points. So some are going to be related to perks, some to weapons or their attachments. So look for the ones that you can complete and go for them because it'll help you a lot in trying to get your squad points so you can unlock new things faster and that's what everyone obviously wants. Completing operations is definitely the best way for maximizing your squad points. And there you have it, those are the three ways for getting squad points so you can finally deck out all of your soldiers. I hope you enjoyed, if you did leave a like rating, don't forget to check out my other videos, and subscribe if you like what you see. Until next time, peace out.